Okay, let's see if I can do this. <laughs> I uh, I tried to I tried to record this video once before, but we ran into an unfortunate issue where um, I was burping so much because I was trying to do a bit um, with it, given I was eating breakfast in the middle of the recording. That bit didn't work. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> I just wanted to kind of sit down and talk with you guys for a little bit today. Um, this isn't like a new concept. I remember when I started doing these videos, I always used to say like, oh, you know, they do it trying something new today. In the grand scheme of things, really all this is is just, uh, it's, it's not new anymore. It's not new anymore. So I, I can't, I can't use that phrase at the beginning of these videos, which is, you know, just lovely. But I wanted to sit down and talk with you guys a little bit today about not necessarily, I, in the past, I've usually sat down kind of gave some like mental health motivational stuff which will eventually come and i i have a time there's a time and place for it i think but for right now i kind of wanted to just take a moment to i don't know how long this is going to be it could end up being like 20 minutes really but i just wanted to take a moment to kind of sit down and thank you guys for really everything um <laughs> i uh I, I for those who may or may not know i I recently graduated high school, and for me, there's a lot of surreality. Is that a word? Surreality? I'm going to pretend like that's a word. Surreality? Um, I'm not going to look that up mid-recording, but I, um, I kind of have had this very surreal feeling knowing that I am no longer actively Im involved in just having to do stuff academically, which is both very rewarding, but also kind of <laughs> daunting when you really think about it. I mean, the thing I've been focusing on for the last 12 years is now done and over with, um, which just feels weird, man. It really does. But um, around the time that t t this is like a mini backstory transition, but uh, for those who don't know, I started this channel back in early 2015, right? Now, you know, to translate that into the grand scheme, of, just in the grand scheme of things, if, if I started this channel in 2015 and I have just now graduated high school, freshly 18, uh, yes, I did in fact start this channel when I was almost 12. I was literally only 11 years old when this channel started, which is crazy. Um, and I think there's been such an evolution of me as a whole but i but i also think there's just so much that's happened in my life but also one of the things i've always had to be proud of in, and just something to turn to as a source of comfort or a source of gratitude or an entertainment for myself is acknowledging this channel because this channel has meant a lot to me a lot more than i think i ever would have thought it did um, I, re I can remember a time, I can remember a time when I was, you know, I felt like the holy grail of every little accomplish that I had ever made on this channel was when we literally hit a thousand subscribers back in like August of 2016. And that was just, in my mind, that was like the holy grail. And I never have been one to really care for subscriber milestones. Obviously, when we hit the big ones that are obviously associated with play buttons and everything, I think that's going to be great. The The main reason I've tried to not associate myself too much with a subscriber count or a certain just specific personal milestone that I try to set for myself is strictly because I don't want that to be something that weighs me down in times where we may seem far away from that goal. Um, and I can definitely say with confidence now that has helped me a lot in terms of my motivation to do what I do. Um, for some, it's just a bigger motivation to have that personal milestone. And I get that. I get it. For me, it just probably wouldn't work, though. Um, and <laughs> we've gone six years at this point, and it's kind of worked. So, you know, what, what, what much do I have to complain, really? But, you know, thinking about that for a second and thinking about the fact that the holy grail in my mind of this whole channel one year in was the fact that we hit a thousand subscribers was crazy it was just absolutely crazy to me and i'm i'm so shocked now you know five years later after that and we are now almost at 
a hundred thousand. That um, that really baffles me. I, it, it's weird. It, it's insanely weird because I remembered something about myself, and I I kind of slowly forgot about this over time, but. You know, around 2018, maybe 2017 even, I had this, even though I have never been the type of person to want to set a personal milestone for myself in the things that I do right here on this channel in terms of advancement, progression, ev evolution of this channel, um, something about 100,000 subscribers stuck with something about that to me felt like it would just be this really big thing so in a way it's like i again i've never really been the type to say hey personal milestones are just the greatest thing in the world i should set one for myself to be a motivator um and in the grand scheme of things really it wasn't something that lingered with me it's not like this milestone has been something i have personally always dreamed of hitting every single day um you know i think by around 20 late 2017 that kind of back burner milestone ish thing that i had set in my head kind of wear it off and even when i kind of had my big break with me channel corruptions it like you know it um how do i put this it <laughs> Even then, it never, like, came back, even though there was a big advancement in my subscriber count, meaning I was closer to that big milestone I had in the back of my head. It's weird. It's like it never it never clicked. It never clicked or anything. Um, and so I just kind of had a moment not too long ago. Like, I would literally say just a couple days ago, where I looked at my subscriber count, and it all kind of just came back. And I sort of remembered everything that I had once had on the back burner with that. And, you know, I just kind of like, you know, not audibly. I, it was kind of more in words saying to myself. I was like, holy crap, dude, that that's it. Like you are literally at the the almost the finish line of what you had initially had that back burner goal in your head to do and i i i just feel like you know through all of this story that i have that i've been rambling on for the past eight minutes about what i really want to try and get down to tell you guys truly is like just thank you a lot um, I've had so many ups and downs with this channel. Um, and, you know, I feel like the the highs have been so much better as the channel's grown. And admittedly, the challenges that we've faced as the channel's grown have also gotten bigger as well. And I'm not mad about that. I'm, I'm actually not mad about that. Because at the end of the day, that's about what you would expect. And if I'm experiencing what I feel like would be the normal thing to experience for a growing channel i can sit here and say that we're a growing community you know like if we're facing about the challenges that i feel like we should be facing um and having the highs that we should be having you know it's it's great and you know i i may not have i may not be the most viewed channel in the world you know i may have very split um specific types of videos that people like i know obviously that's a big thing with this channel and i used to care about that a lot that used to get me down that there used to be like tens of thousands of people that would watch a certain type of video but not <laughs> but not another type and the reality of it is is you know i used to think that was so specific to me and it really isn't it's not specific to me at all um, it's, it's very much just, you know, that's YouTube. And at the end of the day, I've kind of tried to shift my focus from more or less just making videos that I enjoy making. And when it comes to what viewers will get out of it, I always try to acknowledge that at the end of the day, 
there's at least one person's day I'm probably making, hopefully, um, with each and every video I make. And at the end of the day, I, I, I don't, I, I think I've spoke out about this with the channel, but uh, something, something that I've always said to myself, a mentality that I've always had, as dark as this gonna, as this is gonna sound, okay. I, I very much care about the mental health awareness community. I very much care about helping others who are having a bad day, who unfortunately are going through a lot. And I am willing to sit here and live by the quote that I've personally set myself with, which is that if I had to live a life where I couldn't help others, I straight up wouldn't want to live it. That is my philosophy. If if I legitimately if I legitimately could not help others, I I would not I don't know what I would do. And outside of the fact that this channel is something that I do for fun and has thankfully become something a lot more for me from an opportunity standpoint. There's also so much of a gap that I feel like doing this channel has been able to fill in for that life goal of helping others. Um, comments that are in the vein of like, you know, I've been having a bad day or anything of that sort and your videos cheer me up means a lot. It, it really does and I, I can remember I don't want to make this too long. This might be the last point I mentioned, but um, I can specifically remember uh, a comment. I, I don't remember when it was. It might have been like 2019. I have no idea. But I got a comment about a guy who said he was having a really rough time with cancer treatment. And that my videos were being a big motivator for him to stay strong. And that, <laughs> I am, I am not, I'm not going to tear up. Ooh, baby. Um, that meant a lot. That, 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 that meant so much to me. Because, you know, I feel like it, it extended so much to, like, every corner of what I'd wanted to help with. To even ones that I had never initially thought about. I mean, again, I have involved myself so much in the mental health awareness community. Um, and I, I, I really am just so passionate about that. And for me to know, I, I, again, I had never really thought about it, but for me to be able to figure out that I'm not just helping people on a mental health level, but even some to motivate them through terrible illnesses like cancer that means so much to me Th like I, I literally cannot express that it makes me feel so much like I have a place here on earth as dark as that's gonna sound I know there's some dark things going out of this that I I, I apologize for but really that's just what it boils down to a lot of times i just i get so much purpose in myself out of helping others right and obviously you got to help yourself eventually i know i've heard it and i know of it but knowing that i can have that type of impact means the absolute world to me and i i really just want to say thank you guys so much for just enjoying this channel whether you're here for very specific types of videos or if you're here for the whole thing of what we got i appreciate all of you i i really really do because um i you know 11 year old me i don't think ever could have predicted this maybe they would have wanted to envision this but i, I think my realistic view that I had at the time was that this channel wasn't going to go very far. 
And I think if the channel stopped today, like it just kind of got deleted off the face of the earth and you kind of had to take a moment to sit there and say, like, what did you accomplish? Not even on a statistical level, really. I mean, even if we were talking about that, I would be proud of that. But if, if I had to sit there and analyze what we have managed to accomplish out there today, I... I I am I am proud. I would I would be proud, I would be satisfied. But since that's not happening, uh, since the channel's not ending today at all, there was no segue into that. Um, all we can do from here is just continue to grow as a community and hopefully make more people's days. Um, so again, I've rambled on so much longer than I thought I was going to. Um, I don't know how many of you guys will really watch through all of this. But I, I just wanted to do something different today. Just a little bit of a one-on-one -on -one talk with you guys. And uh, at the end of the day, I just want you guys to know I'm so appreciative of all of you. And my life has completely changed because of what we've been able to create and can hopefully grow in the future so again thank you all so much and uh i will see you in whatever videos uh happen to come in the future bye, -bye. <laughs>